Jonathan, you are our expert here with this installation. What are we looking at? So what we have here is a six inch class A insulated chimney system. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially we're running from the second floor up through the roof with the insulated pipe. So when I uh, see a wood burning stove, I usually think of a pipe like this, painted black coming right out of the stove. Certainly. So what we have here is a air cooled six inch stove pipe, a little different from the chimney pipe. This will be our connector from the stove into the chimney itself. So this is actually going to be downstairs on the first floor. Why not use this all the way through? So with the air cooled chimney uh, stove pipe, it's not listed or tested to penetrate through a floor or an unoccupied uh, space. Okay. And what's so magical about our chimney pipe? Our chimney pipe, once again, we've got a six inch stainless steel inner pipe, yep. an eight inch outer pipe, and there's actually a high heat insulation ah. within this pipe. So what does that do for us in terms of offsets? So at this point, that allows us to have a two inch clearance, two combustibles. We can get quite a bit closer to framing materials at that time. Beautiful. It's also maintaining the heat inside the chimney to ensure a much better draft yeah, of the I mean, system. These things can really heat up. Okay, so what are we doing today? So today, what we've done is we've got our second floor pipe in place. We've used a pair of offsets to get a little higher yep. up the roof line. We've also had an offset around the ceiling joist at this time. Yep. We're going to install some metal shielding at the ceiling to maintain that two inch clearance to combustibles. We will then install our offset return so we can penetrate straight through the roof at that time. All right, Joan, if you'd hand me that next section of pipe. So that's just a twist to lock it? That is correct. So we have a twist lock pipe. We like to ensure that it's secured with a stainless steel metal screw in between the sections just to keep it from untwisting. Okay. And it's as easy as that. Now why don't we move up to the roof and we'll get the system done. All right, let's go. Perfect day to be on a hot roof, right? Oh, that's for sure. All right, so where do we start up here? Okay, downstairs, we actually put this nail through at the center line of the pipe itself. All right. And now what we can do is go ahead, we'll get the flashing in place, we'll trace it out. Is this your flashing And we'll get it here? cut through. That is the flashing. All right. Should be as easy as that. And there she is. And that's gonna be our hole. Okay, saws off you. Thank you, Kevin. Now we'll just start our cut. Excellent, and if you can pull that out of there. So now we'll go ahead and put our insulation shield in place. Oh, here we go. Good. All right. There we are. Now we've just got to go ahead and secure it in place. There we go. Here we are, Joe. Okay. Ready for the pipe. And next we'll take that section of pipe. Oh, Thank just you. All right. Now, Kevin, if you wouldn't mind grabbing the mill pack sealant. And this is what? So this is a 2000 degree flexible adhesive sealant. And we're just going right around this? We're right just going to do a gentle bead around that female connection. Rotate that to help you a little bit. Okay, good there. I think that'll do it. Now we've just got to slip this in and make our connection to the previous section of pipe. So how far above the roof line are you shooting for here? So the height of the chimney cap itself is going to be based upon the pitch of the roof. Yep. Here we have a five degree pitch, which means we've got five inches in elevation over 12 inches. So we're going to need about six feet of pipe coming through the roof. So we definitely need another one of these. We will need another one of these. That one, Joe, get some grease on it. Okay. Yeah, now, Joe, if you want to go ahead and just secure that on there, we'll try and make sure our seam stays to the back. You can feel your warm winter days coming already, right? can't you, Joe? Yep. Look at that. And then we'll twist it. And that's it. Now Good. we'll get one more screw in just to secure that last connection. All right, and Joe, if you could hand me that top storm collar. Yep. Right over the top? We'll go right over the top. And we'll just go right down to that last piece we put in. And that should be fine. 
Excellent. So we'll bring this right down to the decking itself. Okay. There we are. All right, Joe, if you hand me that level. Now we're just going to make sure that it's nice and plumb centered coming through the roof. A little bit more silicone around that connection to seal everything from the elements. Excellent. Yeah. Do the honors. Last step. And all right, there we go. All right. So, how do you feel about that, Joe? Oh, I'm excited. Can't wait to light a nice, nice fire in the winter. There you go. All right, Jonathan, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Kevin. And so next time, we are going to start framing out the master bedroom. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor for this old house. Look at you, Joe, huh? You got your own little chimney cap here. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.